Hey everybody, this is my video review of the Prevet projector. Um, it's a little miniature projector. Um, it comes with a lens cover, a power cable, a video and audio adapter, and a little remote. And I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of this projector. So here is the projector. I've already got it set up. Um, this is your lens cover, fits right on there and comes right off very easily. This is the adapter that came with it. I'm actually using my personal HDMI cable to connect it right now. And here is the little remote. Um, so I've got it connected to my laptop. So I'm gonna just flip my laptop around. Here. And... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Go get out. Okay. I'm just going to open up Netflix. And while I'm opening that up, I'm going to go ahead and get the projector up and running. So I've got the power button down here. You can see it just turned green. So shortly, the lights inside will come on. There we go. All right. And this is coming up now, too. So we're just going to do trolls. So we'll hit play there. All right, so it's gonna be playing on the computer. Then, oh, it's already up there. So I'm just gonna turn off this light real quick. So I've got it up on the wall there. Now the sound is actually coming out of the projector itself. There are volume controls on the projector, so you can turn the volume up and down. So this is a view on the wall. I actually set it up on my one of my light gray walls first, and the picture actually looked dimmer because of the gray background. And so then I moved it to this white wall and it was much brighter, but it's not a bad projector. Um, it's not um, HD either. Um, so that's something to consider that if you do get it, it, it says that it's compatible, but that just means it can play HD videos, but it's not going to play them in HD. You can still see the, the pixels. So just something to consider, but it is for its price, a really great option for somebody who wants to have a, a cheap movie room on the go. And you do have some audio out cave, uh, port on the projector itself. So you can connect um, some sort of sound system to this if you wanted to. Um, I actually had one in the past where I had a sound system connected to it so that I could have surround sound with my projector. So this is my first time having a projector since uh, my last one failed, which was probably uh, about five years or so, or so ago. Um, but again, it's a good little projector obviously you know this is a, a bedroom size space and the quality is pretty good um, i believe that i read 16 feet is the max that you would want to have it away from any wall i think that 16 feet is probably going to be a bit much because again you can see the pixels so you want it to be a little closer but it's a really fantastic option and as you can see i mean it's covering this wall more than half the wall so and this isn't a, an incredibly small bedroom I mean <laughs> so but this is our spare room so I've got it set up in here so there you have it